I'd like to talk to you about something we all do, but no one wants to talk about it. Men do it. Women do it. Older people don't do it as much as they used to. Babies do it all the time. We all poop. We don't like to think about what happens to all that poop that we produce. We'd rather flush and forget. Fact is, when you finish doing your business, that's when the region of Waterloo gets busy doing its business, dealing with the more than 180 million liters of sewage the region produces every day. That's a lot of poop. Now, what goes down the drain in your home winds up in one of 13 of the region's wastewater treatment plants, and that's where they separate the liquids from the solids. The liquids are cleaned up and they're returned to the Grand River. What's left is a mixture of organics, nutrients, and water. Now this mixture is treated further, it's shrunk until it reaches acceptable standards, and what's left is a material called biosolids. These biosolids, they can be used as fertilizer on farm fields. In fact, every day the region sends five to seven truckloads of biosolids to be used on local farms. Now what's not used is either put into a storage facility or it's sent off to a landfill site. But is this sustainable? The cost of trucking biosolids is getting higher and higher. Then there's the environmental cost to consider. And what if some or all of these facilities were to suddenly just shut down? Here's something else to consider. The region of Waterloo is expected to grow by 30% within the next 20 years. That's the equivalent of adding another city the size of Kitchener to the region. That's a lot of flushing and a lot of biosolids to get rid of. So that begs a whole series of questions. Should the region deal with the process within its own boundaries? What's the best location for a facility and why? And what kind of technology do we use? And what about the odor? What do you do about that? These are just some of the many questions that need to be answered when it comes to putting together a plan of what to do with all these biosolids. You may have some questions of your own. It's gonna take a fair amount of thinking to come up with a solution, but the region has a great team of planners and environmental scientists and engineers. We all contribute to this situation every day. We all need to be part of the solution. You'll be hearing more from the region on how you can have a say on what happens to your poop. In the meantime, happy flushing.